wow. <laughs> Hello, Duncan. Hello. Hi. Hello, Plugin India users. I'm here with uh, Duncan and he has this really nice new beautiful blue Tesla Model 3 which we have been waiting to get a review of for a long time. So he has kindly agreed us to give us a little tour and a little demo of his car. So thank you so much Duncan, of nice course. to meet you. Yes. So you, you want to talk about the outside here first? Sure, yes. yeah, we would love to know the outside features. Um, yeah, I mean the, the, the biggest part of this obviously is the electric part. But Tesla has done a lot of work on just making it a, a smooth car in a lot of different ways. You know, while we were standing here after I got out, the, these automatically re retracted so as not to get bumped. Oh. When we get back in, the, the mirrors will open themselves back up again. I see. But just little, little funny little features that are just smooth, sleek, um, like these handles. Okay. You, you push with your thumb so, uh -huh, okay. so that the handle pops out. I so see. that again, there's there's nothing there when the door closes. It's to uh -huh. totally smooth. I see. Can, can, can we see that again? Of Just course. Push it with the thumb so that it pops out into the fingers. Okay. Okay. Um, this window is open, but you'll see that with the with the closed one, when I do that, uh -huh. it automatically rolls down the window oh. to save the flashing when you open it. And then when you close it again, it rolls itself back up again. Sweet. Sweet. Nice. Nice. And where is the charging port? So the charging port is here. Okay. It opens automatically. I have a port at home. Um, DC charger? That I have um, oh, okay. installed so that when I plug that in, it'll charge about 40, 40 miles per hour. Um, 40 miles per hour. So okay. the battery is about 300, 310 miles total. So I mm. park at home after work and, you know, an eight hour night, it'll recharge from completely empty to completely full. I see. And you use the same port for DC fast charging as well? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. When when I go to a Tesla branded charger, it will it'll charge the whole car in probably an hour and fifteen minutes, hour and a half. I um, see. So if I'm on a long trip and need to stop on the way, then you know I can charge it while I eat lunch or whatever it is. I see. Great, great. Yes, uh, this looks like an uh, interesting number plate. Is this? Yeah, so it's a clean special fuel plate. In the in the states, uh -huh. um, there's a special deal so that if you have an electric vehicle or a hybrid vehicle or whatnot, you can actually drive um, uh -huh. in the high occupancy vehicle lanes so uh -huh. instead of having to have multiple people in the car. Okay. You can drive by yourself with an electric vehicle. I see. I you can see. You can see if you, if you look closely. These are some of the sensors. This hmm. is actually the camera for the reverse. Um, we can see that inside when we look, and some of the sensors that you can see. I don't even, you know, I don't even understand all the technology behind right. all the sensors, but radar and lidar and LIDAR, cameras that's and right. yeah, all sorts of different sensors that they have. Pretty cool. You yeah. see, so now I'm going to press it. Pick up the car. glass comes down. Nice. Great. Ceiling is oh. is a, is a, a fun feature, if not you know critically important. Um, but uh, all shaded so the sun is never never a problem coming oh really there. huh okay um wow like, like you mentioned all very clean inside of here just like the outside i don't know if you can see the 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 door handles here are very different it's a push button that opens instead of the normal pull everything is is digital so that there aren't parts that should break huh. is their their goal and then the only controls I have, two levers behind the steering wheel and two buttons on the steering wheel to control everything. They, the function is different depending on what we're doing on the screen here. Okay, okay. Um, got, got a map and navigation to take me wherever I want to go. Mm -hmm. um, one of the best parts of this is that obviously if I'm driving a long distance, you know, it'll tell me how to get there, but the computer will automatically calculate if I'm going to run out of fuel before I, you know, run out of battery before we get there. Um, and so if I, actually, what's kind of more fun to do, if I can do it by voice, navigate to Lexington, Kentucky. That's a long way from here. I wanted to pick something far away. It'll tell us how to get there. Um, and the nice thing is that it'll run out of 
uh, electricity before we get all the way to Lexington, Kentucky. From where oh. we are, that's a maybe eight hour drive. So it says stop in Charleston, West Virginia, charge for 40 minutes, and then when you get to Lexington, <laughs> Um, your whole trip will have taken seven hours and 33 minutes and you'll have 14 percent battery left wow. after charging in west virginia wow that's so pretty it just, amazing it just calculates it all for us so we don't have to think too hard about it <laughs> i see okay and and do you think there are enough superchargers all over the united states to go well anywhere? i picked lexington because i've driven to lexington and okay. i had no problem getting there and getting back and, huh, and okay. charging and that is an extremely rural section of the united states right, right. without a lot of you know cities um and yet there are you know you can see Enough a couple a couple yeah. of superchargers there's at least yeah. one in lexington and these are superchargers so if if there is a need you can always find slower slower yes, chargers yes those are superchargers um, okay i'm backing up here it should show us um all of the chargers in the you know the heavily populated northeast of the united states they are everywhere mm, okay. there are lots you can see out in the rural parts oh, wow. there are a lot okay. fewer of them okay so every little uh, electricity symbol you see here is a supercharger so that's fantastic fantastic great and what else we see here we see well, so so this is this is the car and i can open the the front trunk mm -hmm. obviously without an engine there's space up front, so we could look at that later. I okay. can open the back trunk, I can open the charger. Mm -hmm. I can look in the rear view camera that we looked at earlier. Oh, okay. It's right above the license plate. Um, I can do that. Or if I put it into reverse, it automatically opens this, opens okay. this up. And I, I just thought I saw the mirrors move when you put it in. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah? When I put it in reverse, the mirrors adjust so that I'm looking down at the ground. Oh. And then when I put it back in park, they rise back up to normal driving wow <laughs> wow that is such a simple thing i i don't know why nobody else <laughs> is doing that because you know it doesn't have to be about electric cars it's just a matter of convenience so so the great. rest the rest of this is is just adjustable features for the car uh -huh. you know the the radio and other audio uh -huh. sections um heated seats air conditioning air conditioning is nice because i can adjust automatically Heated seats here. Wow. Okay. It's a little warm. A little warm today for that. <laughs> um, and in the back seats too. Oh, nice. The heated seats. Um, but anyway, defrost, seat adjustments. Uh huh. Okay. And whatnot. Obviously, it has a regenerative braking, but is there a way you can control regenerative braking, like turn off and on or something I like that? I don't believe I can turn it off in the okay. Model Three. Okay. Um, there are. So standard and low, um, I guess I can adjust it. I had never tried that. Hmm. Okay. Um, but you see there are multiple right, um, right. modes of steering, modes of acceleration. Uh -huh. um, I don't really like chill acceleration because one of the great features of this car is just how fast it is. <laughs> 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 Which I like to play with. I agree, I, I agree. Nice, nice. You showed this, this was like a mouse to move things here? Uh, Correct, oh. depending on, on what you're doing. This, uh -huh. this will turn on the radio. Oh, okay. Or turn off the radio. Huh. Or it slides to the side to, to change the radio station. I see, okay, okay. If I'm listening to my phone, for instance, which uh -huh. attaches via Bluetooth, uh -huh. then I can adjust to the next the next track. I see, of okay. music or of a podcast or whatever. Oh. Um, that's the tire, tire pressure. Tire pressures. Yeah. So now it's, that one's not measuring. Oh, um, that's fine. So this is the charge. Ah, wow, um, okay. You can see that I have 219 miles left, and you can see full is somewhere around here. 300, 310 is... Ah. is um, oh, okay. So 300 plus... Uh, is the battery is the size. Battery? I see, okay. There are currently in the Model 3... Well, there are scheduled to be two different battery okay. sizes okay. in the Model 3. This is the larger. And I they see. started selling the larger, the 300, 310. There's also just a few little fun features on here. So this uh -huh. is my car and mileage and whatnot. Uh -huh. There's a few little hidden features that I can play some video games here, <laughs> which is just entertaining, of course. Amazing. <laughs> I thought he Interestingly, true. you'll notice that if I put it in reverse, that goes away. Oh, okay, okay. They won't let they won't let you play <laughs> while you drive. Fortunately. Uh-huh. Um 
Easter you egg. can change the map to, to Mars instead of Earth, <laughs> so that while we drive, the, the rover drives around the face of Mars. Oh, okay. That is pretty cool. We must not have a good signal here. And I guess this shows that our passengers but have not put on the seat belts. Correct. Okay. And the driver so, has his seat belt on. Let me see if I, if I put on the seat belt. Right. Okay, that goes away. So, pretty cool. Well, let's drive. Let's drive. That <laughs> sounds good. Okay. Yeah. Drive on Mars. Um, so, you want to head over to the supercharger station? Sure, yeah. You can see that. So if I may ask, what drew, what made you consider and buy Tesla or an electric vehicle in well, general? Well, yeah, I'm, I've had a hybrid vehicle for a lot of years. Um, oh, okay. I'm an environmental uh -huh. person. Okay. Um, and so I wanted to get an electric vehicle. I looked at you know, the several other electric vehicles on the market around here. Uh -huh. And one of the biggest problems it, was the battery size. Ah. Tesla's battery size, you know, the, the mileage capability is much higher than any of the other right. electric vehicles I was able to get on the market here. Right, right. And that was a, a, a big selling feature. Now all the cute little perks, uh -huh. um, and the acceleration and whatnot are much better on the Tesla, so that that, <laughs> yeah. that made it feel better. But the mileage was really the main selling thing. Oh. You can see now that we've pulled up next to a truck. We right. pulled up behind a car. There's a bigger vehicle. It looks like it's a minivan. Right, right, right next to us, and you're seeing them. Right. That, that one just switched lanes, and so it disappeared. Hmm. Right I see. I see. Okay. This is what the car uses for autopilot, which I'll show you in a minute once we get on a, a bigger road. Um, so this is the windshield wipers. Um, you can see that it's it's off right now, but it's set to, to auto, so the windshield wipers will turn themselves on when there's water on the windshield. Oh. So I don't have to worry about that. The car lights turn themselves on and off depending on the light outside. The brights turn on and off depending, you know, when another car comes, the brights will turn themselves off. Right, right, And then right. turn themselves back on again. Hmm. Afterwards, so I don't have to worry about those little little details. Yeah. <laughs> um, so as we get onto this bigger road, I should be able to set the autopilot here. Okay. So double double flick and it's then double oh. flick, and it tells me to keep my hands on the wheel. I have to every so often. I have to adjust. I right, have to, right. I have to let it know that I'm paying attention. Uh huh. But you see on the screen here that the the lanes turn blue. Oh this yeah. This is the lane, and it tells you the max speed. Oh. And my current speed is only 39 because the car in front of me is slowing down. Right. So it's so, slowed down. So I'm not controlling the speed of the car. You're not controlling. Or, so it is breaking speed. down automatically right now. So it'll stop. Is it? Because the car in front of me stopped. I did test it. It will not stop at a red light. <laughs> There's not a car in front of me. <laughs> right. So I definitely do have to be paying attention. Right, right. But wow. we're, we're completely stopped. I'm huh. not steering. I'm not um, controlling the speed. Huh. But it'll once traffic starts, it'll go up to a max of 52 again here. I see. Okay. I've actually set this at seven miles over the current speed limit, so it has to know the current speed limit as well. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Wow, so it actually big, knows big truck coming up next to us here. what is the speed limit on this road. Yeah. Ah, yeah, big truck as you can see is a pretty big truck almost coming close. So, okay, and it has started all by itself. Yeah. Tankan is hands off the wheel, is not really doing anything. So, it, so here it is, it's telling me I need to. I need to let it know that I'm paying attention, so oh. I do that by adjusting the steering wheel a little bit. I see, I see, okay. So it slowed down because that car turned and now oh, it's, speeding, okay, it's okay. speeding itself back up again. So we are now driving to a supercharger. Now turn right onto Hydraulic Road. I see. About eight different, oh, two chests is charging themselves. Yeah. The supercharger was a man. <laughs> <laughs> um. So 
So here is a Tesla supercharger installed very conveniently right next to a big mall where people can just come and park and you know leave their car for like 30 40 minutes and then um, get their shopping done. So we are going to try to charge uh, Duncan's uh, Model 3 over here. Yeah, before we do that I can show you real quick. You can see the sort of normal um, hubcaps on this other Tesla here. Uh -huh. This the, the Model 3 mine has is newer hubcaps which are supposed to be more efficient they say that they give you 10 percent more efficiency so 10 percent longer battery wow, life, okay. just because of the, the hubcaps okay. i haven't i haven't evaluated it independently but that's what they said so that'll open and we just take this off and plug it in i didn't park close enough but looks like we just got it okay um and that's all that's all tesla sorry. knows it's my car they know my credit card number huh okay they, they just bill it directly to me. Really? I'm done. Nice, yeah. nice, sweet. Here we go, flash is green, telling you that it's now charging. Fantastic, and then I assume that you know you can some get a report of how much was charged, how much you yeah, have to be Let's look inside the car here. Okay. And if you wanna take a look there, you can see that we're at 213 miles now and it calculates 40 minutes remaining okay to charge to full and down at the bottom right corner you can see the cost of doing that charging plus you can hear some very pleasant music <laughs> so right now if you are sitting in a car you can actually use the systems like air conditioner and all other things absolutely so at this supercharger station, we have about eight uh, chargers, and right now, as you can see, three of the chargers, three cars here are being charged. Uh, one, this one is Model X, Model 3, and, and Model S. So these chargers are starting to get busy. <laughs> this is how it looks when it's charging at a supercharger. And you'll see that it tells you you're unable to drive because I'm plugged in and charging. It won't, oh. won't let you, won't let you put it into drive. Oh, I see. Okay, okay, okay. Um, and now we're, we paid 21 cents for charging. Hmm. Wanted to show you the app. Um, pull out of here my Tesla app. Mm -hmm. It shows shows my my blue car there. Mm -hmm. um, you can see that we're charging at 219 miles and 40 minutes remaining, just like it says on the screen. Yeah. Um, so that while I'm sitting and eating lunch waiting for my car, mm -hmm. I can see that it's charging at 106 miles per hour. Okay. And that it's got 40 minutes left to get full. Hmm. But the app is nice because I can unlock the car from afar. Mm -hmm. I can open the, open the front trunk. Hmm. I won't do that now. Okay. I actually locked my keys in the front trunk um, uh, about a week ago. Hmm. Called my wife. Um, at home, 30 miles away, she has the same app. She just opened the front trunk for me <laughs> from 30 miles away. <laughs> nice. Really, really useful. <laughs> um, uh, uh, it can, you see that I can turn on the turn on the air conditioner or the heater. Yeah, yeah. When I'm inside the house without uh -huh. going without going into the car. <laughs> huh. The summon feature is one you just got to see in person. Right, right. Really a fun party trick, but. It won't work while I'm sitting here in the car, but I can right. make the car drive forward or go go backward from hmm. out, outside of the car. Okay, which okay. Is, which is fun. Here's another LiDAR camera. And let's take a look under the hood. This is where I store my smelly <laughs> soccer gear. I oh, agree. There is like a decent it's space even under the, under the front hood for things. Couple of hooks, hooks so you can put your, um, you can hang your grocery bags and they won't, oh, tip, they won't tip over. Uh, I see, I see. There. Awesome. So, thank you, Duncan. Thank you very much. You're we really appreciate it. And pleasure. thanks to you from all Plugin India viewers. <laughs>